vines are gone, but there's no way I'm going near those bees. Sweet, sticky babies. Look at that. Is that honey? How big are the bees around here? So there I was, sinking into the icy grip of Lake Grulovia, my life flashing before my eyes. Oh my god, what did you do? I said a prayer. I thought of you. Aww. And then I remembered the super sneezing powder I keep for emergencies. You blew your brains out? Right through my nose, and up to the surface where I assume Ford found it. His mind must have been shattered before he could tell us about it. So I just ended up in Otto's unclaimed brains bin. So, uh, where's your body? I assume it's a handsome popsicle at the bottom of Lake Rulovia. Well, let's get back and get it. It would be nice to see how well I've aged. Or maybe not aged. Not fair. Your body's been preserved on ice for 20 years. Mine looks like this. Ah, you'll look a lot younger after we shave that beard. Oh, what is it? What's wrong, bees? Smoke get in your eyes? Yeah, bees, smoke this. Victory over bees. What's wrong, you big bees? Can't take the heat. Hope I'm not contributing to the global decline in bee populations. You're just something someone put into my mind. Which means there's probably a very powerful psychic nearby. Another hallucination. A very solid hallucination. Oh man, are you gonna cast a spell or something? Who are you? How did you get in here? And where was our security, eh? Cassiopeia? Author of Mind Swarm? Ford Kruller brought me through security. Ford? Ford Kruller? Came back? Oh, I knew it! I knew he would. But I'm not ready. I've been trying to fix this place up for him, but don't you know these bees are so demanding? Ford wants me to turn on the astrolathe, but... It's covered in, well... Know anything about that? Oh, I think I can help you with that. I'm just happy to be useful again. Get out of my way. Ford needs me. Oh, 
I can tend to the queen later. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. She says I can't talk to you anymore. Wait, Cassie! Who's she? There's a narrow slot, but I don't think I can fit through it. I do not love bees. I do not want to mess with those bees. Why can't bees just be cool and chill out? Cassie? Shh! They'll hear you. Cassie, would you sign my copy of Mind Swarm? I was wondering when you were going to ask. It took you so long. Thanks, Cassie. Would you mind if I snuck a peek inside your mind? Oh, thank you. I haven't had a checkup since Ford went away. I know why you're here. Now, to whom shall I dedicate this inscription? Not that many people find their way in here these days. You must have a good head on your shoulders. Uh, definitely a big one. Now, just imagine what you could do if you were using 175% of your brain. Actually, Cassie, I need your help with something else. We're on a critical mission, but there's a swarm of bees that's making it impossible. Stop right there, young man. Nothing is impossible. If you follow the 25 simple steps I've outlined in my book. Now then, let's go show these bees what we can do when we put our minds together. There's that pesky little volume. Thank you, young man. I have been looking for this silly book forever. Wait, she was going to help me. What? This one? <laughs> oh, I'll admit the author was helpful once, when we needed the money to leave the country, but that was a long time ago. But when the chips were down and we needed to fight to protect our friends? Ah, worthless. Is there another Cassie book in there that could help me? They are all restricted. Hmm. Then again, maybe I could help you, if you were to help me. There are two other books missing from my collection. Dangerous books. These are the books that got us into this horrible situation. These are the wrong books, you understand? Round them up for me. Take them out of circulation. They are overdue. Understand? Then you'll help me with the bees? I'll help you with the whole alphabet, Sonny. find these books. I'm her favorite assistant and best assistant, and I already looked, so give it up.
to this actually. Open up! I'll let you in there when you bring me back all of the bad books. I promise. Seriously? I appreciate the first tip, but this enabler is not doing anybody any real good. Runaway books? Uh, sorry. Smarts ain't my thing. Having fun? Getting pretty sore, actually. This thing doesn't even have a saddle. For. Bookworms. They ate my family.
you've got to watch out. There's a giant, uh, you out there hunting for you. Don't worry, young man. The librarian can't get in here. That's why she sends in her operatives. Who, me? I'm not an operative. I'm just playing along with her until I find the real Cassie. The real Cassie? Tell me, child, what is your name? Rasputin. And tell me, who is the real Rasputin? The one you are with your friends? With your family? Or the one you say for your special someone? Hmm? Is that the real you? Or are you actually a combination of all those different identities? Important challenges in our lives can cause us to create entirely new identities for ourselves, sometimes summoning powerful archetypes from our unconscious mind. The hero, the explorer, the shadow. My special talent allows me to summon up whatever archetype I need to survive my current situation. Would you like me to teach you how? Focus your mind's eye on a vision of the... Archetype you need most right now. Is it a trick? Give me! Oh, well, very good. Woohoo! You'll get better with practice. Your archetype will act on its own sometimes, but you can also focus it on a specific task. I think if I use projection on this door, my archetype would go in there. Oh, look at him go. So cute. That's the spirit. What a good boy. See where this little fellow takes you. I'll meet you at the end, and then I'll tell you my plan for the librarian. Are you from... The mind and introduction? Yes, yes, always nice to meet a fan. No time for autographs, though, sorry. Wow, conceited. Please excuse me, I have a lot of thinking to do. Uh, Why so gloom, Dino Chum? Well, I'm from an old textbook, and it turns out I'm not considered a real dinosaur anymore. Please don't tell the librarian. She'll throw my whole book out. Try reading books instead of eating them. Read books? What is that? Some no fad diet? Oy. Sounds like a good way to starve to death. Excuse me. Yes. Are you in pain? To be free of the flesh is to be free of pain, my child. How did you lose your skin? I donated my body to medical science. I had no idea this is what they had in mind. Yikes. Are you mad about it? Skin's actually a lot more trouble than it's worth, to be honest. I'm free of rashes, itching, pimples. Aren't you cold? Cold is a feeling of the flesh, my friend. No skin, no cold. You look like you could teach me a lot about anatomy. You bet. How's this for starters? There's one of me inside of you. Gross. Hey, that's insensitive. Why aren't you, like, 
dripping blood and stuff. It happens from time to time, but I just go over to the horror books and drip on them. They like it. Bye, muscle man. Bye, baggy old clothes boy. Under the door like a pesky shoe. My dogs are barking today. I think if I use projection on this door, my archetype would go in there. Limbo. I got this. You sure you want to do that? Uh. Aren't you? No. 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 my archetype and it hurt Not a good time! Will you two be okay if I leave? Yeah, don't worry. This guy's all talk. I am merely finishing up my pre-smoting prayers. Whatever. Thank you. 
to work together so well really inspired me and it gave me an idea we need to get all of Cassie's archetypes together round up all the runaway books and give them to the librarian but she'll lock you all up oh don't worry we won't be in them we'll be with you now go find the others hurry the teacher's edition. We all learned so much from this one, but we can't have her making up new identities and confusing things right when I'm getting everything sorted. Can we? No, we can't. Just one more book to go. You're right on the edge of becoming my favorite assistant. The battle with Maligula must have brought this librarian to power. Confusion to now has safe. to be his I think I should help Cassie get her aspects back in balance. I'm going to stand over Easy Squeezy! jinxed it. Uh. Oh. Uh. 
she works in here. But be careful. This is the shop of Fanny Flats, the famous counterfeiter. Cassie works for a counterfeiter? I work for myself. But I do what I need to survive. After our parents dumped us here, we needed an archetype that was a little more... thick-skinned. Cassie, we've come to bust you out. Did someone say bust? What was that? Huh? Shh! Never say bust in here too loudly. But it's true. We have a plan. Oh, hey, Teach. Listen, now's not a really good time. Flats has a big deal coming up, and she's really on edge. And I'm working on my ticket out of here. Can we help? Listen, don't tell anyone, but the cops are closing in on this place. The boss's days are numbered. I cut an immunity deal for myself. I just need to get them some evidence they can use against the big gal. But she's watching everybody like a hawk these days, and I can't get away. We'll do it. I'll get the evidence you need, and we'll b we'll briskly walk out of here together. Okay? Deal. But remember, never double cross a double crosser. Okay, I need three pieces of evidence. Better split up. Wait, who am I talking to? Wow, this carving is beautiful. Why, thank you. We would have done more, but we got full. Smell some white evidence nearby. Got it. Better invest. Another day, another dollar. <laughs> Better take it as evidence. I think that's the best evidence I'll find in this part of town. So pretty, so wise. some emotional baggage nearby.
can't do anything until I get rid of that enabler. This fish market is clean. For a fish market, I mean. But just dirty enough to have some juicy evidence, I'll bet. This will make you smarter. Extract wiggled fish. Don't need trout, or you'll get gout. Bob that looks like an octopus. Terribly old and rotten fish here. Make you taller. Poetry, pop music, fish with worms. Stay old cutfish is even better for you. My catfish is buttery and sweet and easy to eat. Come get your cup. Fishy fish. And by fishy, I mean it's fresh. Looks like evidence of something. One more piece of evidence to find.
walls, making it impossible to do any damage. Say nice things and happy birthday. No effect. They're protected by that enabler. Let's see how tough everybody is now. I can't deal with that bad man. Move until I figure out what's behind it. If I can find the cause of this bad mood, maybe I can get rid of it. <laughs> Looks like those guys just went out of print. Wait, what am I doing? Oh yeah, collecting evidence. I've got to stop saying that so loud. looks incriminating. I think that's all the evidence Cassie needs. I got all the evidence I need. Better bring it back to Cassie quick. all the evidence we could get. Think it's enough? Let me be the judge of that. Oh, yeah. This is some hot dirt right here. We'll be able to blackmail her with this for years. Blackmail? I thought you were going to arrest her. What? How is she going to make the money she needs to pay us from jail? But if she's not locked up and she finds out I was the one who sent her up the river, Hey, don't worry. We'll, uh, protect you or something. 
Let's beat it. This was a bust. What? Bust? Ah, it's a bust! Ah. Ah. Ew. Not a chapter of which I am particularly proud. Hey, she was forced into the outlaw life. Not that part. I just meant... Nobody likes a snitch. There you are, all safe and sound again. Thank you, young man. You were a little loud for my liking, but you got the job done. And now you'll help me with those bees? Oh, are you scared of bees? Well, I know of one place where you'll feel completely safe. Hey! Put me down! Of all the double-crossing... This was all part of the plan. It was? Yep. And I thought I was the tricky one. Oh my, we've come to a bad place. No, it's perfect. How is it perfect? Any place is perfect. When we're all together. Well, I haven't seen you in a while. We should never have let her split us up. When we're together, nothing is impossible. Well, that tears it. I hate to damage a book, of course. But that last line was too corny, even for a motivational speaker. We're not going to let you control us anymore. Oh, and which one of you thinks you should be in charge? None of you could stop Maligula. None of you could protect your friends. I am the real Cassiopeia. I'll show you how we fight off a foreign invader. Get ready for the shushing of your life! Writers are most effective when we get inside someone's head. Is a quiet place! 
Not right. In fact, you could say something stinks. You! Oh no. I can't handle all three of you at once. That's kind of the point. Ready, gals? I'm ready. Together now! I can't believe I failed! Again! 
I guess, I guess I'm not the real Cassie. Yes, you are. And so am I. Me too. Mostly when we need money. Hey, I'm pretty good in a fight. You might have noticed. Hi. Uh, are you the real Cassie? Hmm, not sure. But I'm sure she's in here somewhere. Now then, did you say something about my bees? Oh my, they really aren't behaving, are they? That's it. I'm all out of bee puns, I promise. Think you can do something about them? I'll try, but I feel like I've lost a little control of them. Oh, how I wish my old partner were here. I think they just need a nap. Oh, bully! How did you know I needed you? A little bird told me. Oh, sorry, I should say three little bees. Then, think we can get this swarm to stand down? I do. Bedtime for bees. So, how's production? Eh, jars of honey and no one to give it to. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> 